Okay. Hi, it's Dale from talking all about sustainability business. And we have a very interesting interview today. Unfortunately, I have to visit my grandson, so we don't have a cool background that we normally have, but we'll go ahead anyways. Hi, Kevin from Sacramento. Hi, Zale. Well, please you. Tell, tell, tell us a little bit about what you do, who you are, and what you do. Sure, my name is Kevin Cochran. I'm the founder and CEO of Jackie Mays Burger Grill. And uh, I have about 10 years of combined restaurant experience. I was a member of the original team of Freebirds World Burrito. And I was their first general manager. They have about 75 stores today. Um, I have also about 10 years experience in the clean technology space. I was a chief operations officer for an energy and sustainability management company. We track the carbon footprints of, of cities and uh, Fortune 500 companies like Tesla and uh, HP and others. Okay, now what's really cool is everybody's saying sales interviewing a guy who's running a burger thing. Okay, but so tell us a little bit about the specific problem you're solving because it's a really interesting problem that you're solving. Sure, well, you know, if you're like me uh, and you're concerned about the environment and animals and you're looking for a, a good, uh, something good on the go, uh, you just it just doesn't exist right so we're what we're solving is uh finding a healthier uh climate friendly cruelty free uh, 100 percent plant-based uh burger restaurant rate you know for the masses so so basically you're you're basically producing burgers but they're not really burgers oh these are burgers made from real meat made from plants made from real, real protein real protein Okay, right. so talk a little bit about how you're actually solving it. And then we get a little bit into your business and how you're seeing that that's rolling out and stuff. And now remember, I'm a Ray Kroc guy. I love yep. Ray Kroc. Oh, so great. You understand that, Talking to the right guy. <laughs> so let, let's talk burritos and Ray Kroc, and then let's talk about solving the problem. Sure. Well, you know, Ray Kroc was all about franchising, and that's what we're going to do. I have some franchising experience in my background, and, uh, you know, uh, something that we're going to bring to this uh, burger restaurant. Um, yeah, so basically we source our foods from premium uh, plant-based meat providers and then we added our own plant-based ingredients uh, to make really some delicious, very tasty food. You can see our videos uh, of people enjoying our food. We're planning to launch later this year. We're running a crowdfunding funding campaign currently to raise awareness in our program. Um, so so yeah, we're looking for uh, uh, you know to get this out to the to the masses with our first location in Sacramento, California. Right, and then you're expanding uh, probably through California because California is where franchises always go. And Ray Kroc's, you know, and I suppose you have to do Chicago, right? If you're really going to follow Ray Kroc, but that's maybe he's just sale projecting his own desires <laughs> to be that kind of guy. Um, okay, so tell me a little bit about what success is going to look like for this chain of restaurants. And to describe, I, I know how you name the restaurant is kind of interesting. And describe a little bit about the restaurant besides the plant-based. Like what kind of experience we're going to have and that kind of, so that kind of whole package. Sure. So success for us is really to become the leading sustainable fast food brand uh, in the restaurant business. And definitely 100% plant-based foods, but uh, there's a lot more that goes into sustainability than just the uh, sourcing the, the raw products. Uh, so zero net energy buildings and uh, sustainability, you know, integrated oh. into our mission, etc. We also have uh, you know employees and um, and uh, our customers. Uh, and, and actually investors, community, we're doing uh, community crowdfunding campaigns on a franchise level so that people in their community can own a part of a, of a Jackie Mays franchise. So we look at a couple of uh, other fast food franchises as, as the model and take best practices from them because like Freebirds, we want to you know, produce food that people crave and want to come back to every day. And uh, there's a couple of chains like that. Chick-fil-A, for example, is a great example of customer service. Right. Um, In-N-Out Burger, uh, you may know. Uh, it's on the West Coast mainly, but, but uh, very simple uh, menu, uh, has uh, simple operations. And Freebirds, uh, obviously, has uh, just terrific, terrific food. We're, we're looking to do something similar to these chains and 
so so you're not going to have any plastic straws no plastic straws that's right so yeah when it comes to packaging and um we'll we'll source from sustainable sources uh you, you know the fast food chains understandably they're in business to make money they sell convenience at a low price and um uh, basically sustainability is is uh, something that they work towards but really kind of is not part of their main main mission so, so that's where we differentiate ourselves okay and, and you have your menu kind of prepared and tested and stuff like that is that like I don't know where you are exactly in the the site the rollout cycle well we're right at the beginning but we have our, our burgers and um, you know we're working on our shakes and and so we're, we're in menu development but uh, we've got some really good items that are there we've got some breath breakfast items as well a breakfast okay. burrito breakfast sandwich etc so um and we've uh, yeah tested several of these do you have the do you have the the uh, building layout like the structure of how your design and your branding and all that kind of pieces together as well already uh we have a vision of what we're looking for you know we have uh, and so another chain that we that we like is uh, also uh, it's called the Dutch Brothers Coffee. You might be familiar with them. They have a small footprint, but a double drive-through, and it's an interesting model. So we're looking at uh, you know drive-through as being one of our main focuses for convenience. Oh wow! So that's real quick. You know, you, you do the app thing, you order it, you show up, and you just pick it up, and it's sitting there for you. Exactly. Yeah, wow. and you know we got some. Uh, so technology is a big part. Using artificial intelligence, uh, membership, loyalty programs, uh, the app ordering kiosk ordering etc so you know these days in the restaurant business especially in fast food and there's a lot you can do with technology and, and we have to because the, the prices you pay are a little bit more today for plant-based foods but we'll be way under the existing fast casual plant-based uh, restaurants that are opening up all over the place it's interesting I, the first thing that comes to mind is is um you know in north america uh payment by from your phone has been very slow to be implemented because there's this massive infrastructure of the old systems. But you go into the deepest, darkest Africa, right? And everybody's walking around and paying with their little cell phones, which aren't even smartphones, and they're paying everything because they don't have that investment in that old infrastructure. You're able to go and look at all these chains. You're pulling the best from every one of them. You know, Chick fil A has their customer service story, and you know, all these other ones that you mentioned earlier. And mm -hmm. you'll be able to just start from the ground running while those guys have to reach, educate their systems, re-educate their franchise, or you're going to be starting where everybody is trying to achieve right now. That you is got it, Dale. Actually, you know, it's very expensive to recommission a building, right. uh, for example. Uh, McDonald's uh, has found this. They've done a lot of tests and, and you know, just simple thing is putting solar panels on your, on your property is, is not that easy if you don't have it built from scratch. So, um, yeah, so it, it, it's a, if, if it's part of your mission and you're building your, your restaurants uh, out, then you have a, a little bit better uh, a chance of achieving your goals. Wow, that, that is totally amazing. Well, thank you very much, Kevin, for, for getting, uh, contacting me and, and connecting up. And this will be a great story, and uh, we uh, will chat later. Well, thank you very much. Again, we're crowdfunding, so please visit our site, JackieMays.com, and uh, learn more about us. Thank you so much, Dale. I appreciate it. Terrific. Hi there. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I'd like you to leave a suggestion down there, how I can improve. Be nice, be kind, because I'm a very sensitive individual. And I'd like you to subscribe uh, oh, over there, please. And if you want to see more videos on the same topic, it's over here. Great. Thank you. Take care. Bye.